survey finds nearly half of all honeybee colonies in the U.S. collapsed last year, the second highest death rate on record. Honeybees are crucial to the food supply, but they face a threat from pesticide, starvation, and climate change. Our Brian Hackney spoke to one beekeeper who's reinventing that familiar box in hopes of boosting the population. My life with bees started in dreams. I had reoccurring dreams about bees. And there were so many dreams that I thought, well, maybe I should try beekeeping. And that's how it all started. Why did you decide conventional bee box design had to change? Something didn't feel right. We decided we wanted to allow bees to live the way they have lived for millions of years, which is in trees. Whoa, is it going up? Bees really prefer being high above the ground. We installed this empty, right? And it took, I think, under 48 hours. The bees had moved into that log hive, and for the first time I removed the end cap and looked into it, and I looked at something I did not understand. Now that I could see honeybees for the first time in their natural state, I didn't recognize them. And in that moment, I knew a door had opened into a new world, into a completely new paradigm of beekeeping. That was not beekeeping anymore. It was really more about learning who this animal is. What comes to mind when you think of conventional beekeeping? Oh, God. I don't know how to say it. You know, it's like, oh, God. It's like, oh. It's hard. It's really challenging to witness that conventional system. When you look at those boxes, the design originates from the 1850s. They were not designed with the well-being of an animal in mind. It's too cold, it's too large. And in terms of numbers, the annual mortality rate is up to 68% of honeybees in boxes. Compare that to honeybees living in the wild, where the average lifespan is over six years. We are just bringing that wisdom, that million-year-old wisdom, back into a design that provides conditions for their well-being and survival and health. How many of these do you have deployed? Uh, over 150, 150. The goal is to go nationwide, actually worldwide. 30% of all our food depends on pollination. The day will come when there will not be sufficient bees anymore available for commercial orchard pollination. What we hope for is that we can transform a system that has no future. We actually have no choice but to change. If we don't change, we will run this into the ground. We have no choice but to pay attention. My attention. Well, the U.S. Department of Agriculture says 35% of the human diet comes from insect pollinated plants, and that the honeybee accounts for 80% of that pollination.